Well, John James is my guest now from his home state. Sir, good day to you. There was one poll that came out that showed you within seven, but you look at the real clear average, you're down nine, 9.7 percentage points to be precise in the RCP average right now. What do you think of the final week? What's your closing argument here? Well, I'll tell you, we were down 20 points in the primary, ended up winning by 10. People forget that Michigan's a very special state where we're sick and tired of the establishment politicians dictating to us what they think was best for us. That's the reason why both Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders won in this state. People in the state of Michigan want somebody with experience, and I'm a combat veteran with that experience in the battlefield, understanding how to take care of our vets and keep our country safe, but I'm also a business leader who understands how to create economic opportunity and jobs. We cannot wait another six years to fix our Great Lakes. We we can't wait another six years to fix our immigration, and we certainly can't wait another six years to make sure we take care of our health care. Well, you, how do you um, battle against her name recognition? She is well, very we get well out there known and put the work in. We, we get out there and we tell people what they have and what they have to lose by voting for Debbie Stabenow. Debbie Stabenow is ineffective, she's hyper-partisan, and she's broken her promises. She broke her promises to fix our schools in 10 years. It's 2018 and Michigan still has failing schools. She broke her promises to fix our pharmaceutical drug prices, and our pharmaceutical drug prices are still spiraling out of control. She promised to give our service members everything we needed in Iraq, and she failed to do that in 2007 when she voted against emergency funding. I know, because I was in Iraq fighting for our freedoms. I will not let our veterans and our service members down, and we don't have another six years to take care of this. We have to do it now. I've this is the best at, opportunity. I've been looking at some of the polling. You lead with men by a couple points. She leads with women by several points. Is that a problem for you? Absolutely not. See, women are not a coalition. Women are the majority. Women are deciding that they are sick and tired of being dismissed and marginalized, and they're standing up. See, men cannot give to women what they're already endowed by their creator. We need to make sure that we as men are treating our women as equals and engaging them as independent thinkers. Right now, women who are independent thinkers recognize the choice that they have to send somebody with combat experience who understands how to keep this nation safe and someone with a business experience who understands how to continue growing our economy and protecting the American dream for future generations how and for our children. How do you think the president plays in Michigan? He, he won the state, but, but he only won it by 10,000 votes two years ago. Well, I'm an independent thinker, and uh, I will speak for myself, and I believe that people want a fresh perspective, because I believe that both parties have failed the American people. And I believe the president won this state, and Bernie Sanders won this state, because they're sick of the partisan politics, and they're sick of business as usual. I was walking in the, to the studio today, and uh, an African-American young man pulled over, rolled his window down, gave me the thumbs up, and said, go John James. And so that's not a particular demographic that the media would say that, that, uh, that the president is doing well in. But when I'm knocking on doors in Detroit, when I'm going to churches in Detroit, people say that they, are, they can have their job and they can provide better for their families because our economy is growing. The only people who care the most about Trump, I'll tell you, Debbie Stabenow talks more about Trump than I do because I'm focusing on the people of the state of Michigan. I'm focused on Tawas and Traverse City. I'm focused on Terrell and Tamika. I'm focused on the people of the state of Michigan and moving us all forward. And I will work with anyone. I will work with anyone in any party to make sure that we can move our state forward. Okay, you say you're an independent thinker. Last question on this. W would you invite the president to come to Michigan? Would that help your campaign? B because the schedule from the uh, White House that we're seeing does not have Michigan on it at the moment. The president said yesterday that he would come to Michigan. I would welcome the president to Michigan. And I will show him the areas where our babies are drinking leaded water in Flint and drinking bottled water in Detroit. I will show him the areas that we need to improve. And I don't care what party you're in. You can't say no to additional resources back to the state of Michigan. We need to make sure that Michigan has a voice on the floor of the U.S. Senate, regardless of who's in the majority or who's in the White House. And I will bring that balance back. And we will never have a better chance than this. And if you'd like to learn more, please go to johnjamesforsenate.com and learn how we're going to win this thing on November we've, 6th. We've invited your opponent, Debbie Stabenow, to come on board over the next uh, seven days or so. And that invitation is still out there. We hope your opponent takes us up on that invitation. But John James, thank you for your time. Closing week. Here we go. Thank you, sir.